Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to solve one important problem uh, from greatest integer function. So here uh, we have to integrate uh, this greatest integer function uh, x minus 1 from 2 to 4, right? So uh, let us uh, find out the value of this uh, definite integral uh, involving greatest integer function. So let us uh, first call this integral as i, right? Now here uh, we see that x varies uh, from 2 to 4, right? And uh, uh, let us denote uh, this function uh, as f of x. So we have f of x is equal to greatest integer x minus 1, right? So when uh, x is 2, Right? When x is 2, let us find the value of f of 2. So f of 2 is uh, 2 minus 1 here and we have greatest integer 1. So the value of uh, this is 1 due to the definition of greatest integer function. And when x is uh, 4, f of 4 is equal to uh, greatest integer 4 minus 1. Here we have 3 and the value of this uh, uh, greatest integer 3 is 3, right? So what we have seen here, uh, we observe that when x uh, varies from 2 to 4, then f of x, then f of x, it varies from uh, 1 to 3, right? So now uh, let us draw the uh, number line. So here we have the number line and uh, let us uh, uh, write here uh, 1 and here we have 3, right? So when x varies from 2 to 4, f of x varies from 1 to uh, 3 and here we have 1 and here we have 3 and we see that the integer uh, 2 uh, lies between 1 and 3. So now we have two intervals. Uh, the, the first one is from 1 to 2 and the second one is from uh, uh, 2 to 3, right? So now uh, let us express f of x, uh, that is uh, greatest integer x minus 1, uh, as uh, uh, in terms of uh, intervals. So when uh, this uh, x minus 1, right? When x minus 1, it lies uh, between 1 and 2, then the value of this function f of x is uh, 1, right? Because when x minus 1, this x minus 1 lies between 1 and 2, then uh, due to the definition of greatest integer function, the value of f of x is 1. And similarly, when x minus 1, it lies between uh, 2 and 3, uh, then the value of uh, this function is 2, right? So let us take an example uh, uh, to explain it. Uh, when x minus 1, when uh, x minus 1 is equal to uh, say uh, 1.5, right? So here we have 1.5. So when this x minus 1, uh, it lies between 1 and 2. So here we are taking uh, this value as 1.5. So when x minus 1 is equal to 1.5, then the value of uh, uh, greatest integer x minus 1 uh, is uh, here we have 1.5 and this is equal to 1, right? So that's why here we have 1. Similarly, when x minus 1 lies between 2 and 3, uh, let us take uh, one value. When x minus 1 lies between 2 and 3, let us take here at 2.7 so when we have uh, x minus 1 is equal to 2.7 then the value of greatest integer x minus 1 is uh, equal to 2.7 uh, so the value of greatest integer 2.7 is simply 2 right again due to the definition of greatest integer function so uh, here we have 2. So similar argument goes for other values. Suppose here we have 2.6. Then again, 
the value of uh, greatest integer 2.6 is 2 and so on and similar is the case with uh, this interval when uh, suppose here we have 1 point say 3 and the value of 1 point uh, 3 greatest integer 1 point 3 is simply 1 right so here we have 1 okay so now viewers uh, here we have two inequalities and let us solve these two inequalities so the first one is uh, 1 less than or equal to x minus 1 less than 2 and uh, let us solve it so adding 1 throughout so here we have 2 here we have x and here we have 2 plus 1 3 right so we have added 1 uh, throughout right okay so x uh, uh, lies between 2 and 3 okay similarly uh, let us solve this one so here we have 2 less than or equal to x minus 1 and less than 3 and uh, again adding 1 throughout so here we have 3 and here we have x and here we have 4 right okay so now uh, this uh, uh, greatest integer function can now be written uh, like this so we can write it as uh, here we have 1 so uh, this inequality is equivalent to this one so here we have 2 uh, less than or equal to x less than 3 and uh, here we have uh, uh, this inequality and this inequality is equivalent to this one so here we have 3 uh, less than or equal to x and less than 4 right okay so now uh, these two forms are equivalent and f of x is now equal to 1 when x lies between 2 and 3 and f of x is equal to 2 when x lies between 3 and 4 right so now let us come to our integral so here we have i and here we have 2 and here we have 4 and we have to integrate this uh, function from 2 to 4 right so now uh, we can uh, break uh, this integral into two integrals that is from i1 and i2 and i1 is from 2 to 3 right 2 to 3 f of x dx and i2 is from 3 to 4 f of x dx right so now here we have i and uh, when uh, x uh, goes from 2 to 3 then the value of f of x is equal to 1 so here we have 1 right similarly when x goes from 3 to 4 uh, 3 to 4 then the value of fx is equal to 2 right so now uh, these two expression can now be written as uh, from 2 to 3 here we have 1 dx and uh, here we have uh, the integral from 3 to 4 and here we have 2 dx right now the integral of 1 is x and the limits are from 2 to 3 here we have uh, the integral of uh, 2 dx is 2x and the limits are from 3 to 4 and uh, uh, substituting the limit so we have 3 minus 2 here and here we have uh, 2 for the 8 minus 6 and 3 minus 2 is 1 8 minus 6 is 2 so we have 2 plus 1 equal to 3 right so viewers uh, the value of this integral is 3 